Hi, my name is John Meyer, and what I really wanted to show you today is how to create a pre-signed URL for S3. Now, I thought this was doable through the UI, and I was thinking, oh, why not just go in there and click it instead of having to go through the command line? But it turns out it's only available through the CLI or API calls. Don't worry, I'm looking to see if this is an enhancement down the road, if we're gonna see this in what's new. I don't know, but maybe it's a, for a specific security reason that is through the COI. I'm gonna investigate it. I'll probably post something later on a follow-up. The very first thing I'd like to do is I'm gonna walk you through, we're gonna create an IAM user. This user is gonna be destroyed then, and you know, right after we're done here, so that uh, it can never be used. You'll never, this access key and secret key will not be used again. Let's go ahead, I get logged into the console here. So my new user, S3 demo, and I'm gonna give it programmatic access, means I'm gonna need a secret key. I'm gonna attach existing permissions and say S3, and I only want read-only access. Do some tags, name, S3 demo, pre-signed. You know, follow best practices. We'll review this and we'll create the user. Now I'm just gonna leave it on here. Typically you should download this CSV file, but since this is only for demo purposes, as soon as it works, I'm gonna come right back here and delete it. Now, once I have my access key and secret key, I need to configure that within my terminal. I'm gonna to come to my terminal and I'm gonna give it a profile, S3 user. Now you can do S3 demo, whatever you'd like to do. Paste that key, come back. Default region, US East one. JSON, now you can use text, whatever you'd like to. Uh, I typically just stick with JSON format. Clear the screen. All right, so once we have that user, I wanna create a pre-signed URL for an S3 object, but I don't have an S3 bucket or an S3 object. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create those for us and we're gonna just put an object into the S3 bucket. Click create. All right, now that I have my bucket, what I wanna do is I'm gonna upload something to it uh, so that way we can use it as an example. All right, so I uploaded a document called warmups document. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna you know, copy my name here. Oops. And then I'm gonna come back to my command line and I'm gonna type this in and I'm gonna give it an expiration of one week. Back on com command, back on my command line. All right, now here on my command line, what I did was I called out the AWS S3 command, pre-sign, there's my bucket, my file, expires in one week and I'm using my profile here that I created in the beginning. I mean, I can have multiple profiles. I can have hundreds of profiles here. And the reason that is, is if I have multiple AWS accounts that I'm managing through the CLI, it's just easier to call it a profile. At that point, I'm gonna hit enter and here will be the output. Now, this is what I mentioned before in my, do in my document or my post is that here's your access key. Now, it's not your secret key for it, thank goodness, because I kind of like mine uh, kept to myself. So that's why we created a separate user, so. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna copy this guy. And then what we're gonna, we're gonna try to pull down the file and see if it works. Cross your fingers. There we go. And now I saved the file. So as you can see, this is the best way to do it is to create a new IAM user with programmatic access for S3 read-only, meaning they can't do anything else. I can pull down the file. You've also uh, set the URL to expire after one week. Now, best practice, you probably do like two to three days, but one week is will work in most cases. I appreciate it. I'm gonna get this uploaded uh, as soon as possible along with my post. I hope everybody enjoys it and hope everybody enjoys me walking through and making my mistakes as I'm doing it. Thanks a lot until next time.